How many of you had Mark Hamill will leave the press briefing on your bingo card hands? Yeah, me either. And look, I just got to meet the president, and he gave me these aviator glasses. I love the merch. Can I bring up Star Wars too, sir? Well, you know, I called him Mr. President. He said, you can call me Joe. And I said, can I call you Joe B1 Kenobi? <laughs> oh, look, I guess this alleged kid diddler, allegedly, of course, Mark Hamill is no longer riding with Biden? Huh? What happened to your Joe B1 Kenobi? Hmm? That's a weird thing. You have to find L's making fun of this dumb asshole. Again, Mark Hamill seems to be the bet middler <laughs> of the of the male lefty side of washed up Hollywood losers. A fucking idiot Mark Hamill over here coasting off of a job he did 40 something years ago. Good job, idiot. Anyhow, desperately trying to stay relevant, he goes out there and says, blah, 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 stage a coup and throw old man Mick Kid Diddler under the bus. And just like every thave democracy, you've just rallied behind this insufferable chick that nobody likes. Nobody likes her. You're trying to do a massive amount of astroturfing and gaslighting to make a Kamala Harris a thing, but I don't think it's going to last. I don't, think it's gonna, I don't think Kamala Harris is going to be the last Democrat candidate for presidency. We'll see. I mean, it's only, what, three months till the election, so we'll see how that works out. But here's this douchebag, Mark Hamill, uh, quote, The great thing about America is here, kings and dictators do not rule, the people do. End of quote, Joe Biden. That, again, damn, you're dumb. I can't imagine he's this stupid. He's over there taking advantage of real stupid people. Who likes Star Wars Acolyte? <laughs> Nobody likes Star Wars Acolyte. They Kamala Harris is the Star Wars Acolyte of politics. You idiots on the left-hand side pretend to like this. Everybody knows it's stupid. Everybody knows it's garbage. The only people protecting this are the media, much like Kamala Harris. <laughs> Here we are. Um, really, the people do? The people do? How, how does that work out? Keep America great. Hashtag Kamala Harris, 2024. White men for Kamala Harris. <sighs> where do we start? <laughs> I mean, where do we start? So first of all, uh, the people do. You didn't vote for her, you moron. You stupid idiot. You look like a drug addict, by the way. You aging horribly. How is Harrison Ford, like 20-something years older than you, but still looks way better than you? Again, it's probably it's probably up to shenanigans, brother. You're probably way deep into drugs and alcohol and small children, allegedly, of course. And it is really aging you poorly, you dipshit. But again, you don't have a say in democracy when your candidate is shoved down your throat, which is what just happened. And Kamala Harris is very, very well acquainted with shoving down the throat. And that's just what happened to yo. That's just what happened to you. Oh, my God, this, we love democracy so much. Our candidate has zero votes. <laughs> it's fucking insane. Zero votes. You didn't even have a primary, by the way, because Joe Biden wouldn't let anybody run against him. RFK was not allowed to run as a Democrat against Joe Biden. You guys barely let that Wiccan chick and uh, that black professor run. And then even in those cases, you wouldn't let them on the ballot in places like Texas or Florida. You didn't even have a primary. But still, 14 million of you dumb fuckers went out there and you voted for Joe Biden. And pff, surprise, now you can't have Joe Biden. Because you were told forever that he was the sharpest Joe Biden ever until that debate happened. And then you guys threw him under the bus because you couldn't hide the fact that he's got dementia. How is all this democracy, by the way? How is all of this people power? You fucking idiot. You dumb asshole fucking moron. Holy shit, you lefties will put up with anything because you're fucking stupid. Now your candidate for presidency has zero votes, and the DNC is rushing a teleconference ahead of their convention in Chicago. They, they, they want to hold it early to cement the chick with zero fucking votes as your president-elect. 
or your president elect, your candidate for presidency. And you come out here with a straight, stupid, fucking goofball, AIDS riddled face, and you say, the great thing about America is here kings and dictators do not rule, the people do. You had zero say. You, you've got zero say. And you, you never really have any say, by the way, because Hillary Clinton forced Bernie Sanders out twice. Joe Biden forced Klobuchar, Warren, Buttjug, forced all those people out the day before Super Tuesday in the 2020 election cycle. He forced all those people fucking out. By the way, in the 2020 election cycle, Kamala Harris was the first fucking dipshit idiot to drop out. She sucked so bad. And now you love her a long time? You're a bunch of dumb idiots. And you're an idiot because you dumb lefties get your politics from dumb assholes from Hollywood. You fucking morons. But there you go. Your Joby Wong Kenobi is out. And because of the democracy, you now have a candidate with zero votes. You're fucking stupid. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching the video. This is channel. We kept it today on dumb assholes like Mark Hamill. Hit that subscribe button and make way because the salt must flow.